good morning friends now the next unit that is the diseases and enemies is the part of the apiculture in this topic that two aspects which are focused here one is the bee diseases here we are going to discuss about the four different type of the diseases caused by the four different organisms here that is a viral diseases fungal diseases bacterial diseases and fourth one protozoan diseases here while in the next aspect or the next topic associated to the unit 3 that is a bee enemies so many that intruders which attack on the colony here especially endoparasites and the ectoparasites ectoparasites in the form of the mites and the bee loves endoparasites in the form of the acarin disease that is a mite causing agent while other enemies in the form of the wax moth ants monkeys bear and any other reptiles which also influence and decline the productivity of the that colony also here step by step we focus the bee diseases first of all that viral diseases here we are going to focus about the sac brood disease and the chronic bee paralysis second one fungal disease here two different type of the diseases just we discussed here chag brood disease and the stone brood disease third is the bacterial disease in the form of the american fall brood disease that we say that afb second european fall brood efb and third is the septicemia while the fourth protozoan disease which is which causes the severe damage and decline the productivity of the colony that is the nosema disease here in this lecture just we focused here the viral diseases and the fungal diseases here now the first is the viral diseases here that sac brood disease here the causative agent no doubt that is a virus that name is the filterable virus here that filterable virus which is transmitted by the or spread in the colonies due to the drifting of the nursing bees nurse bees specially present in the brood chamber which perform the duties in the form of the feeding to the all the developmental stages especially the larval forms and drones as well as the queen bee also along with that cleaning of the comb monitoring or survey of the comb which carried by the nurse bees that is that duties which is performed by the nurse bees they moves in the comb from one place to the another place one cell to the another cell that is a drifting of the nurse bees and due to which if that nurse bee infected by the virus they easily transfer from one cell to another cell where the developmental stages are present specially that virus attack on the full grown larvae in case of the symptoms if supposed to be that virus attack on the full grown larvae the dead larvae found in shrunken capsules second one the larvae are dirty white to black in color normally the larva whose whitish or creamy yellowish in color but as the infection carried out just we get the symptoms in the form of that larval body color patterns here which is dirty white to black in color with a black heads look at that in that image here the larva become sac like with a tough skin and die after full grown inside the capsules why we say that capsules here because that larva which is a full grown and which then transfer into the another developmental stage that is a pupal stage here and when before pupal stage that larval forms it moves the nurse bees they cap that cell or seal the cap, seal the cell here here that larva becomes 
sac like with a tough skin that is outer body covering which, which is very tough and die after the full grown here as the infection which is carried out here. As the larva which is pulled out with the help of the forceps from the cell just look like as the bag which is filled with the water here that is sac of the water we see that here. Here that a disease preupipi that is infected preupipa or full, gr full grown larva unable to move into the pupal stage here that is fail to pupate and turn dark brown here ultimately death which is observed. How can we prevent or control that sac brood disease? Here treatment or the prevention form. It can be controlled by maintenance of the strong colonies. And second point is that comb replacement and requinning of the weak colonies. If there is an infection in that particular frame, one or two frames, we can remove that frames here. Or if the colony which is weak, or we say that queenless colony which is observed, at that time there is a more chances is of the diseases here or any type of the infection here. And during such times, the beekeepers must know as the queenless colony which is present must introduce the new queen here. That is a requeening of the weak colonies here. After the sac brood disease carried by the virus, moves toward the another one that is a chronic bee paralysis here. This is also carried by the virus here. That is a causative agent here. How can they transfer here? That disease which is a spread or a transfer from B to B by direct body contact here. We know about that by the monitoring that colony, feeding purposes to the developmental stages as well as collection of the food material. Even though construction of the comb, there is a body to body contact which is observed in that colony here. And due to which that disease which is spread from one that member of the colony to the another member. What are the symptoms here? Here, abnormal trembling motion of the wings and the bodies. If there is an infection by that virus, the first symptom which is very important, that abnormal trembling motion of the wings and the bodies. Normally, trembling motion, it means that there is a vibration, we see that here. That vibration of the wings and the bodies, that is a normal condition. And due to that, due to that vibrations or vibrating motion, we see that the communication which is continuous in that colony. But if there is an abnormal vibration or abnormal trembling motion, if observed by the beekeeper, it means that there is an infection carried by the virus. The infected bees appear shiny and the greasy because of the lack of the hair. We know that friends, overall the body except the head region that is thorax and abdomen which is externally covered by the fine sensory hairs. Here as the infection which is carried by the virus, the body becomes shiny and the greasy because of the shade of the hairs here. The bees fail to fly and crawl on the ground. Due to the paralysis, they are unable to fly properly and directly fall on the ground here. Adult bees die within a few days after the infection. That is that paralysis or the chronic bee paralysis specially caused by the body contact no doubt and infection to the adult bees here. How we can control or there is any treatment? It can be controlled by maintenance of the strong colonies. That is as the vicinity much more flowering also present, maintain the healthy, healthy environment inside and outside the colony carried by the beekeepers and due to which the colony becomes strong here. Second point, comb replacement and requinning of the weak colonies, I already explained that as the weak colonies which are present, so many infection carried by the many organisms or there is an entry of the enemies also carried and that time 
unable to maintain such type of the colonies here. The beekeepers must know if there is a weak colony should be shifted from one area to the another where the flowering which is present or if there is a queenless colonies must be introduced the new colonies also. No vaccines or medications are available for that disease here. Good sanitation practices are the key role to maintain the healthy and strong colony here. After the viral diseases moves toward the another that is a fungal diseases that is diseases caused by the fungus as well as their spores. First is the chalk brood disease here. What is the causative agent? That fungus whose name is the Ascophyra apis also known as the Pericystis apis and transmitted by the, by the spores eaten by the larvae during the cleaning. That is the nurse bees during feeding when supposed to be infected that transfer to the larvae. What are the symptoms here? As per the name look at that the spores germinate in the gut and they fed by the larvae through the nurse bees that fungal spores which transfer into the alimentary canal the foregut we say that here in that region they germinate that spores forming the mold like stand that is germinate and the population which is increases which penetrate the body resulting to death here they block the alimentary canal also the color of the dead larvae changes from white to black we know about that the color patterns generally whitish or yellowish we say the or cream color as the infection which is carried due to which they turn into the black in color the larva in the cell which resemble a chunk of the chalk the larva full grown larva or infected larva somewhat the whitish in color or there is a black spots are observed and looks like as a small part of the chalk hence the name is the chalk brute here treatment and the prevention there is no any chemical treatment for this disease instead it can be controlled by the bee breeding and the good management also totally depends is on the that beekeeper after the fungal disease the next one is the stone brood disease which also carried by the next fungus that name is the aspergillus flavus here the transmission of that disease which carried by the germination of the spores in the alimentary canal that is the gut region what are the symptoms behind him the infected grubs and pupae becomes yellowish granulation stony hard ladder and lie in open cells here that is that larvae and the pupae after infection the color pattern which is changed here generally granular yellowish color which is observed when we touch to the skin of that grubs and the pupae somewhat the hardness which is observed and they observed in the open cells here the dead larvae turns black becomes difficult to crush and hence the name stone brood after the symptoms most toward the treatment or the prevention as per the symptoms of the stone brood diseases when observed the very important thing that infected colony must be separate from the other colonies and it should be burned there is no any option second thing is that during handling the colony by the beekeepers the all the equipments should be sterilized before and after handling the colony here by the formal dead fumes here that point is very important to keep away such type of the diseases from the colony here and due to which the colony becomes strong healthy dear friends 
here to be completed that viral diseases as well as the fungal diseases here. Next time we focused about the bacterial diseases and the protozoan diseases. Thank you.